welcome back students now we are going to solve this uh, 13 problem from chapter 8 friction hybelostatics and the problem says that a torque of m equals to 300 newton meter is applied to the flywheel determine the force that must be developed in the hydraulic cylinder cd to prevent the flywheel from rotating the coefficient of static friction between the friction paid at B and the flywheel is 0 0.4. So the friction, the coefficient of static friction between this paid and this wheel is 0 0.4. So now as we can see that uh, this wheel is rotating in the clockwise direction. So in order to stop this wheel, uh, this paid need to apply the force in this direction in order to create the counterclockwise moment and that counterclockwise moment need to be equal to this clockwise moment in order to stop this wheel so this means that if we consider the wheel so this paid or this ac arm should apply the force on this wheel in this direction so let me represent that friction force so that friction force must be acting here like this and let's represent this by f and when this spade comes in contact with this wheel so it must apply the normal force on the wheel so here we will have the normal force on the wheel due to the paid and that must be acting in this direction this is the normal force and similarly we know that since this is the friction force so this friction force will be mu s time n and mu s is 0.4 so we can write that this is 0 0.4 times n now since this wheel and this ac arm this ac arm they are in the contact right so if this ac arm applies the force on this wheel the friction force on this wheel towards the left so as a reaction this wheel must apply the same force on this ac arm but in the opposite direction so we will have this same friction force here as well but towards the right so let me show that friction force on the paid as well so this is that friction force this is again equal to 0 0.4 times n and similarly if this ac arm applies the normal force on the wheel so the wheel must apply the normal force on the handle as well so we will have that normal force in the opposite direction as well so this is the normal force similarly as we can see that since we are considering this ac arm and here we have the hydraulic cylinder so in order to apply that force this hydraulic cylinder must apply the force on this ac arm like this so here we need to have that hydraulic cylinder force on this ac arm so we will have that fcd which is required this is fcd this is the force applied by the hydraulic cylinder and this FCD is making uh, 30 degree this is given and similarly uh, since at A we have the pin support so at pin support we will have two reactions we will have AX reaction and we will have AY reaction at point A and similarly at point O we have the pin support as well so here we will have uh, OX in this direction this will be ox and here we will have oy and let's assume that this is our positive x and positive y direction for both the free body diagram so this is these two are our free body diagrams so now this fcd is required so for that first of all i will consider this wheel since uh, we we want to have the wheel at rest so the system must be in equilibrium in order to have this wheel at rest so we can apply the equilibrium conditions so i will apply the equilibrium condition for wheel so let me write that wheel and for wheel we are applying the summation of moment about point o that must be equals to zero and the counterclockwise moment must be positive we are assuming that the counterclockwise moment is positive so as we can see that since we are finding the moment about point o and this ox and this oy they are passing through this point o 
so their perpendicular distance is from point o is zero so they are not going to produce the moment about point o and similarly this n is passing to that point o as well so it's not going to produce the moment so only this friction force is producing the moment and we have this moment couple and this moment couple magnitude is given this is 300 in the problem statement it is given that this is 300 newton meter this is 300 so now uh, this couple moment is clockwise so we will write minus 300 and this small f is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write that this is plus and friction force is 0 0.4 times n and the perpendicular distance of this friction force from the point of rotation is 0 0.3 so that is the moment arm is 0 0.3 so this is equal to 0 so now we can write that uh, 0 0.4 into 0 0.3 is 0 0.12 so this will be 0 0.12 n and this minus 300 on the other side will become plus so that is plus 300 and n is equal to plus 300 divided by 0 0.12 so 300 divided by 0 0.12 gives us 2500 so n is equal to so the brake pad is applying the normal force on that wheel of magnitude equals to 2500 newtons this is not in pounds this is in newtons as the moment is given in newton meter this is in this is given in newtons so if this is in newtons this n must be in newtons similarly uh, now we know the normal force this normal force is uh, this normal force is 2500 newton so now we know this normal force so now uh, we will consider the AC arm for equilibrium, AC arm. So for AC arm, we are again going to apply the summation of moment about point A that must be equal to zero. If the system is in equilibrium, the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. Now this AX and this AY, they are unknown, but we are finding the moment about point A. So they are passing to that point A, so they are not going to produce the moment about point A. So, and then if this FCD is making 30 degree angle, so we need to resolve this FCD. So we will have one component like this. This will be FCD cos of 30. And then we will have one another component like this. And this one will be FCD sine of 30 degrees. Now this uh, cos component of FCD is passing through that point A about which we want to find the moment. So it's not going to produce the moment about that point A. And this AX and this AY, they are not going to produce the moment about that point A. So this sine component is producing the moment about point A in the counterclockwise direction. So I will write FCD cos of 30 and the moment arm of this FCD is the perpendicular distance from point A and the perpendicular distance of this sine component from that point A is the length of this AC arm which is 1 plus 0.6 so this is 1.6 meter so I will multiply this with 1.6 similarly this uh, N force this is producing the clockwise moment the normal reaction so we will write minus N and the perpendicular distance of this n from that point a is one meter distance it is given in the problem statement in the diagram that this is one meter so we'll multiply this n with one and we know the n magnitude as well so n is 2500 so we will write 2500 into one and similarly this uh, small f this friction force which is applied by the wheel on the handle this is producing the counterclockwise moment and the perpendicular distance of this small f from that point a is this 60 mm distance it's very really small distance so we will write and this f is equal to 0 0.4 times n so we can write that this is uh, since it is producing the counterclockwise moment so we will write plus 0 0.4 n is known which is 2500 into the 60 mm distance so we need to convert this 60 mm into meters so we need to divide it by thousand 
so this will be in meters and this will be equal to zero now 60 divided by 1000 is 0 0.06 so let me write that this is 0 0.06 meters so now we can write that um, and this this is this is the cost company is not producing the moment this is this is the sign component right by mistake i have written this as cost but this is sign this is uh, fcd sign of 30. so we can write that fcd sine of 30 into 1.6 this will be equal to we need to bring all these constants to the other side of the equation so this will become plus 2500 into 1 minus 0 0.4 into 2500 into 0 0.06 and now if i divide both sides of equation by sine of 30 into 1.6 this will cancel out and we will get that uh, hydraulic cylinder force so this will give us fcd so this is 2500 into 1 minus 0 0.4 into 2500 into 0 0.06 divided by uh, sine of 30 sine of 30 multiplied by 1.6 so this gives us 3050 so fcd the hydraulic cylinder need to apply 3050 newton force 3050 newton force on that ac arm in order to stop the wheel uh, having moment equals to 300 newton meters so this is fcd magnitude so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems related to hybrid aesthetics